we are in the studio. Let's get ready to paint. Hey there, today in the studio, we're talking palette knives. <laughs> Choose your weapon. <laughs> I've got about five metal ones here and I've got four or five plastic ones. We're gonna look at them all. Let's get started. And we're gonna talk today about palette knives. If you have, if your painting is tight and you want to loosen up, oh, these are your friends. <laughs> these are the best ways to loosen up a painting. Now, it doesn't always translate to a brush afterwards, but you can, uh, it, it'll help you to loosen up and to not paint so tight. And it'll have a more of a painterly effect. Okay, so I've got some plastic ones here. And um, I don't use them very often. Although they're covered in paint, it looks like I use them. <laughs> but I don't really use these too often. But they're over there with all my other uh, paints and stuff. So I guess maybe that's how it, I, I do. I use this one. You can tell that. And I use this one a lot to mix paint with. Uh, if I've got a lot that I want to mix and, and a brush I don't want to load the brush up excessively, so I'll mix it with uh, a palette knife and then um, use uh, the brush. But if I'm going to paint with palette knives, I go ahead and I pull out the metal ones. I just feel like they're more precise. Their edges are cleaner. And this, you can tell, just if you just looked at them all laid out, <laughs> let's see here, you can tell which one I use the most. <laughs> It's, it's this one. The handle is a mess. And, and it has kind of a, like a worn, smoother um, feel because I've used it m much more. But these, these all are different shapes and it's not like I, I have to have everything there is to have. They do have different reasons and different um, things that one is better at than another. Okay, so I, this is one I use for mixing, but I also use this a lot uh, if I were painting flowers or, you know, whatever. Um, this here is excellent for, you need something with a straight line. Mm, this is, here's your girl. Um, this one here, I really like this because it has, and so does this one here. Okay, these two are alike. One's just bigger than the other. Um, but when you look at them, let's get rid of that one too. You see, here's an edge, here's an edge, here's an edge, and here's an edge. Now, these, this edge and this edge are harder to use than this one or this one. If you need to get someplace into someplace small, that's your, your edge right there. And then this kind of looks like a little cement trowel. It's not exactly the same shape as this one. <laughs> really reflecting that light, aren't they? <laughs> but, you know, so it's got more of a rounded edge here. And this one has that triangular. And you can actually use uh, all four edges of this, depending on how you need to get in uh, to something. Um, this is really good when you're doing large... Uh, parts. Now I'm going to, I'm just going to show you a few things here. We're going to spend the entire month of February working on palette knives. So um, I, I'm just going to show you a few things that you can do with this, with them. I have a uh, palette over here, but it, it looks like there's a lot of paint, but most of it's dried up. <laughs> but I'm going to put some yellow. I'm just picking it up with the palette knife and Smooshing it off. It's that technical learn language. Smooshing. <laughs> and now I'm going to get some purple. And I'm putting it over here. Okay, so now I want to kind of wipe that off. Okay, so I'm going to pick it up with the back of the knife. Okay, I'm just going to come on here and pull it on there like this. You can do a background with that. Now you see that how it kind of um, collected up there on the front. So I just push it off 
and then move it around. Okay, so now you can see in here where it's not very heavy. Okay, so I'm going to, um, again, wipe that off because I want to put purple on without anything mixed. Purple and yellow are across from each other on the color wheel, so they are complements. That means when you put them next to each other, they really pop, but when you mix them, it grays each color. Okay, so here comes some purple. I'm picking it up with the back of the knife. More with the back. Okay, now I'm just gonna pull that off. There we go. Okay, so you can see how you could do a whole background um, with a palette knife and if I were going to do a background I would pull out the bigger knife um, this one here that I showed you earlier I would I would do a background with that but here's what I love about this I can put just a little bit of the paint on there I can come back in here and now I've got some interesting things going on. I could also, another fun thing is to go in a different direction. Now see how that covers up that yellow? But if you'll just be light, if you'll have just a little bit of paint on there, you can pull it through there and that makes a really interesting background. Now I'm gonna pick up some of this yellow and I'm gonna come over here in the, in the purple. Now you see right there, the, the purple was still wet and so as they mix together, they're gonna to make that duller color. It's what they call graying the color. So you can hear that knife actually scraping and this is watercolor paper. This isn't even a canvas. If you did it on a canvas, you'd really feel um, the difference. Okay, so if I wanted to, I paint a lot of flowers. So I could come in here like this. But you can make your shapes Could make something sort of round and then so that's kind of how I would move the knife and use the knife. I'm not necessarily making anything here, I'm kind of suggesting something. Okay, so, so playing with this, from here what I'm seeing is it almost looks like a pansy. So maybe if I came in here like this and gave it a little bit of a shape there and a little bit of a shape up in here with that knife, I could turn it into something that sort of looks like a pansy and that's an impressionistic type of thing. So what you're trying, to, if you're trying to loosen up, which is what you're gonna end up doing with the palette knife, um, this is just so much fun to play in and to see, oh my gosh, look how this works. Okay, so if I wanted a straight line, I'm just here in the paint. I'm loading it up there. There. Okay. Picking up some more paint. got a lot right there on the tip so let's see what happens I'm on the angle here now if I turn it over just a little bit see you can get and you can make this go in all sorts of different directions so what you want to do is you want to have 
you want to learn one knife at a time. Okay, so you want to play with the paint with one knife and then pick up the, another knife and play around with that for a while. There's quite a learning curve uh, in using a palette knife, but it will help you loosen up your painting, loosen up your artwork, and when you are um, painting with a brush, that will return to you and you will uh, um, get a little looser with a brush. So if you wanna loosen up your painting, learn how to use a palette knife. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share it with anybody you think might, um, um, might enjoy it, want to learn to paint. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Let's paint together real soon. Fell and hit my head. <laughs> Ooh, that hurt.